Hello everyone and welcome to my corner of the world. This is the video to explain how to assemble card one from the Magnolia Lane Double Wonder card class. This is a, my online virtual class for June. So you will have received your supplies um, for making this, this card in a cello bag. You also have, have had this emailed to you along with a link to this video. Um, there, are, so there are some instructions in the, um, in the PDF, uh, but the main form of sharing the information is basically through this video. So it's called a double wonder card class. And that's because you use two pieces of 12 by six designer series paper. So these, this is the paper, this is the Magnolia Lane paper I've chosen to use. And basically you just need to choose two sheets that have got, that are different patterns. And by mixing and matching the cut pieces, then you can you create the cards now the design this design versus the design i'm using here may differ slightly in your packet if you want to create more cards yourself um, in the back of here is the is a cutting chart for the designer series paper and basically you just choose a couple of the colors um, out of the designer series paper for your card bases. So these, as I say, this is uh, the cards, card one, and you'll be making four of these cards. There'll be supplies in the packet for four cards. So you will have your card base, and you will also have two pieces of Whisper White cardstock. The larger piece goes inside the card for your bit to write on. The smaller piece is where you're going to attach your pieces of designer series paper. You will have, uh, let's see, three fours of 12 pieces of designer series paper. And you'll also have this label shape. Um, this is what you're going to stamp your greeting on. Uh, there's there's one for each card um, in the packets and I've also put a couple of spare ones in your packets just in case um, you uh, uh, you need to have a, a second go. So what you do is basically you're going to lay out your pieces of paper just to see what you've got in the way of designs and then you're basically going to mix and match. So you could make them uh, like two and two. So let's see, if I was to do like that and then have the um, uh, to the other side, you could do all three of them differently if you wanted to, it's up to you. Um, you could decide that you'd like to have the darker one in the middle of some, uh, the, the lighter ones. So basically you're just gonna mix and match until you are happy. Let's see, that one might look nice. Until you're happy with that and you will have got, um, then you should have enough for your four cards. So maybe I do it that way. This one looks a little bit um, I don't know it does it's missing something so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna swap them around like that and I think that would be my choice for my for my design but it's gonna be for you to decide so when you've decided you're going to um, I think I'm going to use this one um, you're going to attach the uh, pieces to let's make sure I've got them them right is that what I decided to do or is that what I decided to do okay we're going to do it this way um, so then you're going to attach them to your card base this is being okay looks like it's got a little bit stuck uh, ah here it comes and I'm going to that one's going to be that way up and 
then this one is going to be this way up. Okay. I'm going to attach the end pieces first. So let's move these out the way so I don't get myself all sticky. So I'm going to attach those. And what I'm looking for is to get an even margin all the way around. Then I'm going to put the other one in next. And again, I'm looking to make sure that I'm even got even either side as well as at the end. And then I'm going to take my middle one and I'm just going to line it up so it's even in the middle. It's evenly spaced and when you do it that way you're not having to, to double to, to, to guess um, have I if I put them one two three you haven't got to guess okay if I left enough room at this end it's all there okay now I've designed this class so that you can use whatever stamp set you have for your greetings and I've I've chosen to use good morning magnolia and my samples, I, I've used thanks and hello, but I'm going to use thinking of you um, for, the, for, for showing you here. Now, another set, because I did a class recently, um, and this it featured this um, for my greetings. And if you have this stamp set, this will also make a good one. And also in your packs, I've put in a little gauge. Now, this is the shape of the... Um, of, of, of the label that I've provided and so if you place it over whatever stamp that you want to use and you can see that it fits so this is like a happy birthday that fits perfectly I'm not quite sure what that one says that one says it's it's all messy the hair the house the heart life it will fit in there uh, there's another one it says I made you a card because you're worth it it'll fit in there so just use this little gauge to find a stamp that will actually fit in the space that we have in the um, on the label I've also chosen to use early espresso um, I love to use it as, as a neutral color I find that it goes with anything and it's not as harsh as as black so you're just going to stamp your greeting on your piece of card let's make sure it's like that oh my goodness me um and the other thing that i've i've done is because the stamp set i chose to use has got a flower here i decided that i would um just stamp up and uh, since it's going to go that away so okay I'd stamp up my um, inside sheet and I also stamped up my my envelope but as I say you use whatever you have uh, to to decorate your 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 cards okay so uh, you'll be using some dimensionals um, from your stash to pop the card together like this and also put a couple on the back of your um, greeting so we're going to take the backs off of these And you're just going to center it up in on your card base like that we're going to attach the insert inside the card and then we're going to pop the greeting just in the middle and so you're going to repeat that four times for each of the cards in in your kit now I haven't used any um, embellishments but if you wanted to you could use some ribbon 
this is some of the uh, petal um, pink petal ribbon um, if you've got some uh, pearls or some rhinestones in your stash you can also use those but this just so is it you know just as an idea of how you can put some more um, embellishment on so that's card number one hope you've enjoyed it look out for the other uh, three videos bye for now